Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Isle of Rebirth. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing now, considering that I am not sure how I am supposed to get to that one spot reliably with any sort of health. And in experimentation, it looks like those purple bubbles are unkillable. Which is such fun. Uh, but I'm going to see what I can do here, perhaps. Okay, so I open that up. Now it's just a matter of where does this go? And is it somewhere that I want to be? And I want that summoner to be close at hand, or I can just have them kill each other indiscriminately. Okay. Okay. Except. <laughs> There we go. Except that I can't do things from here. Lovely. So lovely. Uh, and I think I've already done what I can do up this way. Unless there was something down here. Uh, no, that was that was just the way back to the first robot I, that I destroyed. Okay. So the only other place that in looking through the footage again, the only place that I hadn't fully explored was actually along the way to where I've previously been. Right. There we go. And that was to the... over this way. Yeah, and I know I'm tanking it, but whatever. So, what do we have here? Okay. I'm wondering if there's any sort of way to kill those things. Okay. Or, uh, I guess more to the point anyway of killing the... the dogs, but... Okay, so doing that got rid of those. Alright, what do we got? Eh? Ah! Haha! <laughs> there 
Let me guess, this will just go on forever, won't it? E yes. Okay. Oh my. But this seems to be the one safe spot here. And they're not immune to the shots that are being generated automatically. Okay, yeah, so being in close proximity to them in any capacity is not a good idea. Okay, well, I have a new path to go to. Let's see where that leads. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm not supposed to go that way. Or at least not yet. But, at least now I know that I can stun them with the, uh... I can stun them with the boomerang. Um, uh, thought. I never did. I never did kill all these enemies, did I? It makes me wonder if that door will open. No, it won't. And now all those enemies are going to be back. Great. But nothing ventured. And okay. And all those guys are back. But I'm going to try and take advantage of the f of this little hidey hole here. Eh, whatever. And oh. Those enemies are gone for good. Okay. Okay, so that is at least somewhat of a safe spot. Okay. Next. And I see that I don't want to fall cuz cuz it looks like that will just take take me to a, the next floor down. Uh There we go. Oh, oh, okay, didn't see that there. Okay. And that's what I was afraid of, and... Okay. Okay, so I'm wondering where that path ends up going and if it's somewhere I actually want to be. Probably not.
Dang it. Can I at least kill something before? No. Okay. Oh, jeez. Just getting anywhere with any sort of health is just a trial in itself. Of course. Uh, does that mean I'm gonna have to? Uh, okay. How did I do that? Okay. New buttons in this version that I'm not used to, and because of that, I'm going to do a freaking retard because I'm not having to clear all these rooms all over again. And I'm not concerned about my death count because, goodness knows, it's heavily skewed anyway. And if nothing else, I can reopen that one candle room that I did before later on when I might actually be able to do something with it. Okay, so those things go all the way to there. Okay, so I'm definitely in a better situation than I was before. I thought I could stun those guys. Apparently not. Okay, this is something. Ooh, what is... Uh... Can they shoot me through there? Yes, they can, of course. Hmm. Oh, and of course. Huh. Okay. There's something there that looks like it's something really good for me, and I want it. Now it's just a matter of how the heck do I get it. That is the primary question now. Especially since all the enemies respawn. Because 
that definitely it looks like a usable item and it's definitely something that I want because that's probably the whole point of this dungeon in the first place ooh Okay, well, so much for that. Okay. <laughs> Darn it. I want that. And I at least want to see if trig if those triggers was what caused the uh, conveyor belt to go in the first place. If so, then I think I there's a way for me to go about this. Maybe. But on the other side of things, there's also this thing that I'm kind of curious about. Not that I'm going to have a shot at it anyway. I guess you could say I've got two different plans here. One is to see what's at the end of this path, and the other is to try to get that item if I can. Big if on that part, I guess. Well, if I had a shot, it's gone now.
that's the farthest I had gotten on that so far. Why is it not letting me use that? It did How much magic does that thing require anyway or is it only does it only let me do it once per room? Uh it does use more than half my magic. That is good to know. I think this heals up my magic too. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, it can it's if you come to realize that it seems like these rooms you can't have a strategy for them. Because there's so much stuff going on, and there's so many things that'll just... That it's hard to account for. And... Like, stuff like this. Eh, well, at least it's things down to one. The fact that I have to go through all these rooms so many times. Partially because the enemies respawn, like in that last one. And I think I understand what I have to do to get whatever item is there. Now it's just a matter of me actually accomplishing it because I, it speaks to me that I have to kill all the rabbits without activating any of the triggers behind them. And I can't just do it from the side because of those blocks that are there that pretty much block everything. that I... I am tempted. I am so tempted. Yeah. Use it once, just so I can use this again. Well, in for a penny. Okay, so... Yeah, this is not going to be easy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because even sword beams don't pierce that. And I'm not going to use that because that's going to trigger all those tr switches, I'm sure. And I think that just confirmed that the fire doesn't do anything. Although... I think I have an idea. <laughs> That's a plan. That's an idea. That is definitely an idea, and I'm not going to grab that because I'm not going to take that risk. Yeah! Yes! Got the bloody staff. Its magic will wreck almost anything it touches. Ha ha! And that takes me back to there. <laughs> Okay. That was worth it. And for whatever reason, I feel like going through this area again. Just to see just how powerful this thing is. Uh. <laughs> that worked. First test. Will it destroy the purple bubbles? They'll have to actually come closer to me for me to find out. Uh, yeah, it definitely uses magic at a good... No, it doesn't. Okay. That was good to know. Although now, I have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. I think... Oh, I've got the dungeon item. And you know what? I'm going to do one quick experiment before ending things off here. I am going to heal up my magic and see just how quick, see how effective these things are against the statues. Okay. Yeah, that that got them to their second phase quite fast. Yeah, so this was definitely a worthwhile venture. Uh, I think I'm going to end things off now, but at least now I have somewhat of a plan in place, maybe? So I guess join me next time when I'll probably try to go after that one statue again where I was trying to get to just now. And we'll see what happens from there. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.